in five, four, three, two, one. What's up, you fucking bitches? Oh, my New Year's resolution already failed, huh? <laughs> I was going to not curse in the intro of the Genius Brain podcast, but that didn't happen. Anyways, guys, uh, welcome to another episode of the Genius Brain podcast, a podcast about anything and everything. And we're just here to be with you on your daily commute. We got two very special guests. I don't like to intro my guests. I let them introduce themselves. Go ahead. What up, man? It's your boy, Chris Sosa. And I'm here. And I'm queer. <laughs> Get used to it. I already have. Oh, man. And uh, Bhakti Duran is here as well. Yes, 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 man. Uh, happy fucking New Year. Happy New, New Year, Year, man. Life, happy is, New Year. life has been different for this motherfucker. He's single, dude. Hey. You guys are the reason why. <laughs> Yo, that's why I'm queer now. <laughs> I can finally chase dick. And I'm like, All right, oh, yeah. man, man. How's it like being oh, single, dude? It's fucking good, man. It's actually like... Um, it's peaceful, bro. Yeah. Oh, it's is it peaceful? <laughs> it feels great, bro. Well, cause, um, it, it, you know, it actually like the day goes well, like, uh, you know, I'm, I'm doing my thing. It feels good. It's, it, it only hits me whenever like I get home and then I get in bed. Then I'm like, all right. Uh, Some voice and turns myself. on and shit. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm like, all right. But throughout the whole day, I'm good. I'm chilling. You know what I mean? It's, really? That's so mm-hmm. funny because- I'm with somebody that I, I love a mm-hmm. lot. But mm-hmm. when she's in bed next to me, I'm like, get the fuck away from me, man. Mm. I like being alone. I like to starfish out. You know uh, I mean? But she yeah, only gives yeah. me this. We have a Cal King size bed, yeah. which is basically two full size beds Huge. swished together. And I still get this sliver in the corner to myself. <laughs> Damn. Yeah, because she has this uh, heat pad on the floor, on, on our bed. Uh, and you don't want to touch that. Dog, you could sizzle bacon on that bitch. <laughs> <laughs> and she likes, so she gets two blankets. And a heat pad. And that's yeah. what she sleeps in every fucking night. And that thing's a queen size. So she yeah. takes up a queen size amount of part of the bed. And I get the sliver at the end. Oh, man. It's ridiculous, it man. It's not even that man. cold. And she's fucking cooking herself, dog. It smells like breakfast every morning, dog. Just because my arm is on the <laughs> <head>. <laughs> it Smells like bacon fat. Like, oh, fuck. Man. Yo, I saw you make your, um, I saw you make your, your, your soup. Oh, the ramen noodle shit? Mm-hmm. Hey, man. This shit look fire. Yo, bro. man, I hook my shit up. Like you, it yeah. really did look fire. Like no, I it could, wasn't just. Go ahead. Go I ahead. could do a thirty-part series on every different type of ramen pack I love. I love instant ramen like nothing else. Mm. It's one of my favorite fucking things to eat. Yeah. yeah. So if somebody asked me, I'm not sure if anybody asked you guys this, but if the, you know, I call it the the death row meal, right? Okay. So it's like if you were on death row and they were they were you were allowed to have breakfast, lunch, and dinner. What would those foods be for you? Ooh, think about that. Ooh, wow, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Okay, so for breakfast, I'm gonna go with uh, mm. uh, chorizo con huevo. Chorizo con huevo. I'm gonna go with chorizo con huevo, man. Really? With some papas in it. Oh, so chorizo and egg with some <laughs> some potato. Key. Oh, it's gonna be yeah with some tapatio sauce. That's breakfast. Explain to the people what the fuck that is. <laughs> okay, you chorizo, chorizo, like, chorizo, chorizo, chorizo con huevo. Is, yeah, chorizo con huevo. <laughs> Palabra, uh, fucking uh, legend. <laughs> Uh, chorizo is like uh, what is that? It's like chorizo, chorizo is, is like pork. It's pork, it's pork sausage, or, or yeah. pork sausage, or you can get beef. Uh, mm-hmm. And it's like it's already seasoned and everything. Mm-hmm. And um, a lot of spices is red, right? Right. Chilies in there. Yeah, and it, it, it comes out like that too when you shit. Hell yeah, just like that. So uh, and then you know with huevos, uh, balls, <laughs> and uh, little papa squares, so p- <laughs> potato <laughs> squares, right? And then. Um, uh, well, well, eggs, guys. Yeah. He really he's been, is he been starting. He been <laughs> start, I, started, I was like, <laughs> I started the first like three minutes just hella gay. Yeah. Um. Uh. Um. Where was I going with that? Also, oh, lunch. Yeah. Lunch. Yeah. What do I want for lunch? Um. Think about this. This is the last meal that you'll ever last meal. fucking have before they electrocute your ass mm-hmm. for raping people. Wow. That's what you are in there for, by the way. That's just, what I'm in I'm just putting, I'm in prison because I stole candy. That's all. But, but you're right. No, <laughs> just, to, <laughs> just to put it out there. All right. This is all, this is a scenario, by the way, in case y'all just jump in. Yeah. <laughs> like, what podcast is this? What is genius brain? All right. So uh, for lunch, I'm going to go with, damn, what's a fire lunch? I'm going to go with, I'm going to go with pizza. What type of pizza? Just pepperoni pizza. For lunch. For lunch. Pepperoni Where's the spot? Pizza. Where are you getting that pizza from, though? I'm getting the pizza from... If you face a fucking Domino's, I'm going to kill you, dude. Domino's before you go. <laughs> God damn it. If it's right. Domino's, he you wants to say it. Uh, 
<laughs> Little Caesars? No. L- Little Caesars. No, nah, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go on Domino's, bro. I like Domino's pizza. No, there's so much, so many different pizza so, spots besides Domino's. So you go to Domino's. Grew, I'm going off of what? Let's see. I'm going for the nostalgia. I grew up on this. Shit. Got you. So, okay. I so got this you. is yeah, like, yeah, yeah. So this is going well. I I had that every morning all the time. P- the Domino's pizza. That was the go-to when we get pizza. We get Domino's. Oh, so it's not. Uh, it's not about like how fancy things more, are. The emotional re- connection. The, yeah, because I'm about like to go. A, I'm about to go. You know what I'm saying? So for dinner, I'm gonna go with the. Uh, I'm gonna go with the pollo quesado. I mean, going out with twelve. I'm gonna go with the rice and chicken with black beans and dostones. The plantains, the fried plantains. plantains. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like that. But yeah, and I'm going with like, and I need the juice from the chicken drizzled on my rice with the beans on top of it, and the uh, the pollo quesado is uh, it's 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 this uh. My gosh, Puerto Rican chicken, or, or Dominican, I guess. But um, what's that? What's that marinated in? It's just oh, so we got so pollo quesal. You have the ingredients of like you you put sofrito in it. Sofrito has like bell pepper, onions, garlic, adobo, sazon, uh, a tomato paste. You put um, you know uh, jelly, grape jelly in it. You put a beer, one can of beer, damn, any beer, uh, or wine as well. It's also mm-hmm. good with wine. Uh, and then you put uh, one uh, leaf. I forgot the damn bay leaf. Uh, yeah, bay leaf. Throw a leaf in there. Oh, boy, that just out. fire. Make that shit, guys. Shout out to Oso Sosa Cooking, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> Go follow Oso Sosa Cooking, uh, and uh, you can figure out how to make boy okisa. Ooh, yeah. Yeah. So you make that shit too? Yeah. Look at yeah. this motherfucker. I didn't even know he was cooking. He just started putting up food shit on <laughs> well, his Instagram. Well, also, like... <laughs> Oso Sosa Cooking is actually my brother. That's he. Mm. He's the chef. Oh. I just. It's just you know we're 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 putting it out. You know what I mean? Oh, we're God putting it out. Or not. I was like, I knew this one got it's, talent. It's like under that. the breath. <laughs> I, get, I get down, but I only know how to make rice and chicken. And uh, and chorizo con huevo. So so that was your brother, yeah, man. That's all my brother's dishes. That shit looks bro. so fucking good. It's fire. Y'all go follow Oso Sosa cooking. It's delicious. So does he cook? Mm. Uh, is he a caterer? What does he do? He just cooks for fun. Right. Oh, he's been cooking for fun for the longest, but now he's like actually saying fuck it. And I'm so proud. I'm so happy that he's doing <laughs> this shit because for years, Bati would Bati knows. Yeah. For years, ever since I moved out here. I've been saying, uh, fuck it. That's actually how I've gotten so far in my career. That's tight, dude. And yeah, I'm a king of fuck it. I, I'm not thinking- That's also why his relationship failed, so. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so, yeah, I, I definitely fuck it. The burn, baby. <laughs> hey, yo, sh- first of all, yo, sh- shout out to your followers, bro. Shout out to Genius Brain followers, because y'all are some fucking CIA. I'm going in on you, motherfuckers. Save the cat type yo, of bullshit, dude. Save y'all, the- y'all, man. Y'all well, don't really- fuck with cats, people. Then I save the cat. That's the oh, story. Yeah, yeah, y'all fucking go in, man. Y'all did y'all's research. Y'all found homegirl. Y'all went in her DM. Y'all sending her clips. I'm just like, yo. <laughs> totally gay yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> He doesn't deserve yeah. you. Yeah, like, they're gonna they're gonna damn. send her this one. Like, girl, he is gay now. <laughs> <laughs> you, you did it to him. Yeah. You did it to him. <laughs> oh my gosh, man, that was a that was another shit show. But uh, it was cool, man. I mean, shit. What about you? What's, wow, what's, wow, your, wow. what's your three fucking meals? Yeah. So for me, I'm gonna keep it a little bit more Dominican than you did, my man. Okay. Um, I'm gonna start off with the tres golpes, which the tres golpes is like a traditional Dominican dish that everybody has like for breakfast, and it has uh plantains that are mashed. It has Dominican salami and Ooh, eggs. What the fuck is Dominican salami? Oh, <laughs> well, for, from for what I know, for the most part, I, I just know that it's like predominantly pork, probably that's like from that area, mm. and it has like a certain seasoning to it. Um, but I mean, I, I couldn't go like deep into it what it is. But it's different from that. But regular it has salami. it has such a different yeah. flavor. Like it, if you compare it to like any of the salami that I've tasted, that one for sure has like a very distinct flavor. That's very. Yeah, yeah, that's good, bro. It's, I've never had much like Dominican food, so that's mm. you know I, I eat a lot of cuisines, but mm-hmm. I, I don't think there's that many Dominican restaurants in LA. Oh, there's, for sure. There's, like, there's no, a shit ton no. in Florida and also yeah. the shit, but not here, mm-hmm. so it's not really something I know too much about. Right? Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's zero. another that's another uh, sim foods for you. Oh uh, man, I, I would love to, man. But Dominican. you know, there's one in San Diego if you want to go there. I'm down. You guys gotta show me what's up. I don't know shit about Dominican <laughs> shit, dude. Hey man, that's yeah. you got got great baseball players. That's we it. can put y'all on game real tough. You know, that's about it. Yeah, yeah. Um, so it'd be those three things for the breakfast because that's like the main thing that we go to. Um, Let's get that mic close to your face. For lunch, for lunch, I would probably go for uh, a a salad wrap just because of 
the connections that I've had, like in terms of like eating, because I grew a vegetarian, so like there's a lot a of food. salad wrap. You a might as well just kill yourself at that. Well, well, well. You said it's a, it's a three course deer. It's a three course meal. So I mean, I got the other. Damn heavy man, stuff that's I would have never put salad in there ever because hey, I try to be healthy. I'm gonna be dead. Growing up with this guy, <laughs> by the way, this is my cousin, by the way. But they were he, you were a uh, straight vegan or vegetarian? Vegetarian okay. for for 18 years. So we were like oh. the, the people that we would bring our soy like products to the household parties because well, hold on a eat. second you were a dominican vegetarian uh, yeah, a dominican bro. vegetarian bro, i mean they would come to the parties and we had nothing to, for them nothing to eat, I could eat. It was like, <laughs> that started from your parents it started from my dad from my dad because my dad uh he started he became a devout hindu um whenever he turned what the 22. fuck is going on right now hold on a second <laughs> dominican vegetarian hindu what happened to your father man yeah yeah so my dad's dad died of heart disease and and my mom's dad also did die of heart disease so um whenever he and he was going through like a drug problem whenever he was like growing up in new york um, back in the eighties. Damn. Uh, so your dad or your dad's dad? My dad. My dad was going through the drug problem, kind of thing. Oh, shit. Um, yeah, he was. Oh, shit. About your own this family. is new to me. This was too as fuck right so, now. He's like, really? Oh shit! <laughs> this so is my was, cousin. He, I don't know anything about him. <laughs> <laughs> so he was kind of going through it, you know, while he's growing up in New York and stuff like that. Um, and then after his dad passed away from heart disease, and then my mom's uh, dad also died of heart disease uh, later on. Um, he changed and became like Hindu, and, because also be, he told me. It was because I was born that he like changed for the better kind of thing, which was like touching whenever I first heard it for the first time. You know, I was like, <laughs> okay. That's beautiful. I know, wow. I know right? Yeah. Um, but that, that, so he became a Hindu um, after that. And he basically said that his kids would not be eating any type of meat, at least, you know, until they're 18 kind of thing. So we each had a choice when we turned 18 to be like, yo, should I keep and going you with steak it? that day? Well, really on my 18th birthday, I went straight to KFC. That's dope. <laughs> yo, this man got a bucket. Bro. I got a bucket Why'd of chicken. Why'd you go to KFC of all places be though, man? Because everybody was like, Saying it's so fucking good, and I just had eighteen years worth of like built up. Like, okay, this got to be. KFC is like lowest tier fried chicken to me, it, man. It, but it they really had is. a good season at one point. They did have a good season where, where KFC was popping. Yeah, I mean, because people didn't know about churches. That's why you pieces of shit. <laughs> church's chicken is fire, man. Church's chicken, I think, has the best biscuits. And oh, the chicken. No. Don't you fucking say anything else. Yeah, Beyonce right. is sponsored by Church's Chicken. She gets uh -huh. free Church's Chicken for life. Wait, I thought really? that was Popeyes. No, nah, that's nah, it's churches, bro. Disrespect. You hear that sing, shit? Sing. And okay. he don't know nothing about your life. Dude. Fuck <laughs> this right. guy. All right. So, no, but no, Church's Chicken is like, well, Popeyes has great seasoning, right? Yeah. But Church's yeah. Chicken has this crunch. Their shit is crunchy as mm. fuck. Their biscuits, hands down the best. Put a little honey on that bitch. That's what I'm saying. Y'all are crazy. I, I think the Popeyes one is way better. No, Chick Popeyes the, the, the is biscuit? Dry. The, 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 that the, shit is dry as fuck. Nah, bro. Not the ones that I be getting. I be getting some good ones, I guess. That's because you were vegetarian, Hulk. You don't know shit. <laughs> <laughs> we ate bread. <laughs> 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 this, this shit got chicken grease in it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Um, yeah, yeah. So that's kind of the reason that What's in your salad wrap exactly, though? Oh, there's going to be shrimp. There's going to... Well, I guess it wouldn't be like... Oh, so there's like some meat in there and shit. Yeah, 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 there's definitely... There's going to be turkey. There's going to be shrimp. There's going to be lettuce. There's going to be uh, um, black olives for sure. We're going to have um, maybe a little bit of corn and uh, medium ranch dressing. Okay. Nice. Keep it light so that... Because when I get to the dinner part, which is going to be... I'm always going to like... While my mom's cooking as like my final kind of dinner, it's oh. going to be rice and beans. Beautiful. <laughs> Here you go. With a, a side of side, a side of um, soy meat, soy meat that's been seasoned, you know, properly. Hopefully, with like some goya products. Yeah, I'm just gonna kill myself just to let you guys know. This will, this will usually. Well, when no, there's say, gonna be meat as well. When people gonna, say their last meal, usually the other people salivate. My fucking mouth is dry as fuck. Right now. Well, I, I, I'm at to bring some of this <laughs> okay, food over I here. Gotcha. Once I bring it over here and you taste, you're gonna be like, okay, I get what you're saying. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, and then also pork chops pork chop because she makes some great fucking pork chops Ooh, well so she said fuck you to the vegan thing too huh well she she never did it oh she, she was the one always eating meat like she's around eating us. Meat in front of your dad yeah. fuck. she's eating it off the bone shit. so <laughs> yeah it was kind of that That's growing up too <laughs> so your mom's eating meat and none of you guys are eating none meat. they're us. all eating none leaves at the table and she has like she's yep. eating fucking pork chops That's That's her famous pork chops and... funny so you were just smelling that shit your whole life and you never tasted it until you were 18 never and well i mean i i, I did break it like once i was like i had a hot dog by accident kind of whenever there was like a function in the, the suburb or something like that it was like it was one of the suburb parties at the at the pool area 
yeah. kind of thing. And I texted one, and I, I didn't know beforehand. So I mean, your mom's fucking hilarious, dude. Your mom's the best comic I've ever heard in my life. <laughs> like she's at the she dinner was. table, just eating a pork chop in front of your dad, who changed his life, told this beautiful story about why he's Hindu, and then she's just going to eat pork. Like, <laughs> that's a great story. <laughs> that's fucking hilarious. Your mom's fucking funny. Oh, that's how great. spiteful women she's are great. sometimes. Like you ain't gonna change me, bitch. The fuck, fuck your heart attack. Yeah. <laughs> oh man. That's yeah, awesome, yeah. bro. Damn, dude. That's pretty dope, though. You guys are very emotional. I'm like that, too, though. But then I, my 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 three meals have changed constantly. And I'm so fat, I started adding, like, in-between meals. <laughs> I was like, yo, what if I just get a pass on this shit? I think for me, oh, fuck, man. I actually don't, actually, I don't know anymore. I actually had this written down because it was that important to me. Yeah. This one, I was, like, 280 pounds. So this is all I used to think about. So, uh, let's see. Hmm. Breakfast. Fuck, eh? I think bre- oh fuck. I don't know. Come on, man. Are you saying fuck? You're like you're gonna get some fuck. fuck. <laughs> Damn, it would definitely so my three okay, three favorite foods on earth is Vietnamese, Korean, and Japanese. So it's just gonna have to be mm-hmm. those. Okay. Uh oh, then touch Taiwanese food too. Fuck my cultured ass tongue. Um <laughs> I think uh breakfast will be Korean food. It's whatever so my mom makes like this soybean paste soup. Doesn't sound very appetizing, but it's a very like popular Korean dish, which is mm-hmm. rice and a bunch of Korean side dishes. Mm. And that's just like something my mom knows that I really like. So I'll probably eat that. Okay. Keep it light. You know what I'm saying? And no salad wrap. <laughs> <laughs> and then uh for lunch, it's just gonna be a spread of Vietnamese food. It's gonna be a good ass bowl of pho. And then it'll have this thing called bun sale. Bun sale is this Vietnamese crepe. Um it looks like it's made out of eggs, but it's not. It's like coconut milk and I think it's uh, tapioca or rice flour. I think it's rice flour or something. Mm-hmm. And then it's like super crispy. They put like bean sprouts, a bunch of meat, and you dip it into this fish sauce shit and you wrap it with vegetables. You would actually love it because it's vegetarian. You just don't have to add the meat. Oh, word. And then it's fucking fire. But you'd have to have a vegetarian fish sauce. So never mind, you're fucked. So, <laughs> <laughs> and then I would eat that. Uh-huh. It's funny because I'm adding all these meals into one meal. And then I would have a Vietnamese uh, bun mi sandwich, which is their French baguette sandwich is like one of my favorite shits mm-hmm. and i could eat that all in one meal like nothing hands down yeah and then for dinner it would just it would have to be sushi really sushi. yeah i love fucking sushi like sashimi like medium fat medium fat tuna i specifically like red snapper a lot yeah from this place called hama sushi they do uh it's like a small little bar they do like just hand niggity and it's like this small place like the size of this podcast room and they make really? it there so i would do sushi and then a bunch of just different Japanese. Food. I gotta eat a wow. shitload of sushi to get full. I don't get full off of sushi. Like I gotta eat like a bunch of it. You well, know if you saying? just eat the raw fish, but if you eat it with rice, you get full mm-hmm. off of rice, yeah. man. Because it's like, and sushi too. The the hard part about it is there's the, there's the knife technique in to get the fish right, mm-hmm. just to get the fish the slice right in the portion. But the important part is that the rice tastes good because yeah. it's like it's literally like sixty percent of what sixty to seventy percent of what you're eating. Mm. And so a lot of the places that you go to, they don't pay attention to the rice, and so it sucks. And so my favorite part is getting that sushi rice just right. And nice. then you can put, you know, like decent fish on it. It tastes really good. Yeah. Damn, that's so fucking true. All the fucking sushi that I have, like from grocery stores and shit like that, the rice is ass. It's whack, dude. It's ass. You got you to gotta go to a good, good. You uh, take me to a fucking dope Dominican spot. I'll take you guys to a dope sushi spot. <laughs> hey, that's a bet. That's a deal. Nice. I actually had sushi right before I came here. Yeah. yeah that shit's fucking good, man. Um, Fun fact. Well, I don't, I mean, I don't know if it is. It's like here. It's, I don't know that it's fun. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, so I used to work at a, I used to work at a prison. I was a CO. What the fuck? Yeah. Yeah. So, and I actually worked in, uh, the execution unit. You're Rick Ross, bro. Yeah. I'm Rick Ross. I'm the real Rick Ross. I know. Well, I'm the, I'm the, cause You're the real Ross, fake Rick Ross. I'm the real fake Rick Ross. There it is. Yeah. 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 Um. You worked as a fucking CO? I was a CO and I worked in the execution unit too. Uh, it, this was in, in Huntsville. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, a lot of people think that you can get whatever you want for your last meal, but it's really at least as far as the prison that I worked in, you can only you can get whatever you want that they can make in the prison. That's why. Yeah. yeah. So we got okay. Well, then wow. now the shit changes. Yeah. So what the fuck can they make in prison besides fucking <laughs> yeah. fucking flapjacks and cereal? The you fuck? Can, you Does can. everything come out of cans and shit? Yeah. No, they got you know they got, they got eggs for sure. But the thing is, is like it, a lot of it's bland. So you yeah. got to add hella salt and sugar, uh, like uh, salt mm-hmm. and pepper. But um, you know, they, they spaghetti and they got this uh, pork patties. 
Uh, so you can get like a sausage egg McMuffin type of thing. You can, yeah, yeah, yeah. You can hook it up. Okay, then for sure, mm. I'm gonna get me a sausage egg McMuffin. Okay, they got hash browns in that bitch at prison. Uh, I don't think that sounds I like a delicacy. I don't remember. I don't remember. Yeah, <laughs> they got potatoes though, right? Yeah, they got potatoes. Oh, they could make some fucking hash browns. <laughs> I'm dying. Yeah. You better make me a fucking yeah. hash brown and hella cabbage. Hella cabbage. cabbage. Oh. Like cabbage yeah. is with everything. Let me tell you something about yeah. cabbage. That's one of the worst vegetables on earth. That uh, and and they 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 bring it by the big truckloads, bro. Yeah. It's just like stuff it in like cabbage. It's just is with so everything. cheap. Yeah. That's why. Yeah. Yeah. It has a lot of like nutrition and shit and fiber and then white people yeah. love it. So Yeah. Yeah, man. But yeah, I worked in the prison, man. I worked there for like two years before I came. What kind of shit did you see in there, dude? I saw some crazy shit, man. Um I can't survive in prison, bro. I already know. Like if I let's say like Tomorrow, I shoot somebody in the face, and they're like, "Well, I get caught. I'm, I'm just gonna kill myself. I can't do it. I'm getting fucked in the ass every day. I got juicy cheeks, bro. Uh, <laughs> I got juicy cheeks at a really high screen, and my skin hella soft, dude. <laughs> I be exfoliating consistently. They, they go look at me like, "Dude, you the closest thing to pussy I've ever seen in years." <laughs> and they just go, "Diddy, fuck me in there, dog. I'm not ready for that shit." They go just take my arm and just use the fold in my bicep and my forearm as a pussy. <laughs> Fucking the shit out your arm. They just gonna fuck the shit out my Two arms up. and my back legs. <laughs> I just got four dicks inside me. No, five, six. One in the mouth, one in the ass. Oh, Seven, God. one in the belly button. I got a deep ass belly button too. That <laughs> shit, dude. They just gonna use me in there, hey, dog. bro. <laughs> I'm, I usually don't get outgained, but I think you got me. <laughs> Yo, man, I'll outgain the fuck out of somebody, man. They gonna fuck me up and fuck me. That's what's gonna happen, dude. Put that on a t-shirt. They gonna fuck me up and fuck me. I got soft ass skin, man. I already know this shit. Oh, I take care of myself. Oh man, yeah, <laughs> man. I see, I see some wild shit, bro. Um, there was an inmate who actually tried to, he actually tried to hang himself. Oh my god! Had a, had a, yeah, had a uh, Aaron uh, Hernandez. Wow. No, I um. <clears throat> so in the in the academy, they they show you like uh, scenarios and they show mm -hmm. you videos of like you know ways of how they would hang themselves and the the main way is like taking their sheets and tying it up at the top of their bars whatever their mm -hmm. bed sheets and so um i was working the specific cell block that i was working in was the site cell block so um there were people that were their inmates that were like in like their own cell they didn't have a celly mm -hmm. and each one had a key to it so all the doors can be open at the same time with uh, the roller at the at the end of the cell block. But with this specific specific one, I had to open each one with a key. Um, and we also had to have a bullet uh, like a, a vest on, you know, because, uh, you know, they could fucking wild out on you. Right. So this specific inmate, <clears throat> uh, he was like putting things together. He was like, yo, why am I in this cell block? Right. And so he asked me and now I'm I don't know specifically why, but I know that he is obviously has to be in this cell block for a reason because he's in the psych thing. He might hear voices or whatever the case is. But, you know, that's not something I tell him. Of course. You not. know what I mean? So, um, you know, I just let him know, like, you know, he asked me, I said, uh, I, I don't really know, man. My paperwork just has your cell number and uh, and, you know, your ID number mm -hmm. and your name. And he was just like, all right, well, you know, just, you know, just figure it out for me, you know. And uh, they, these inmates were in uh, transit as well. So when they're in transit, they're actually on their way to another prison that's further. But mm -hmm. they stop by our prison to be there for the weekend and then go hit the road again. Right. So. I was only going to have them for the weekend. So during count time, we count every three hours. We count all the inmates um, and we we tally up our inmates in the cell block and then um, they all get those papers and then all the papers come together and the lieutenant counts and make sure all the counts are right. And um, so during count time, I'm counting and I pass up his and he already had the sheets tied up to the top of the bars and now he's wrapping mm. it around his neck. And I was like, yo, the academy, it, like, it just like split. Like I, I immediately in my head, I was like, yo, I've seen this shit. Like this is exactly what they were talking about. And so I was like, fuck. So I had to like shut everything down. And I was like, yo, my man, like, yo, stop. Like get that off your neck. And, you know, the rule is you have to, you have to uh, warn them that, yo, I'm going to, I'm going to gas you. I'm going to use my handy dandy mace it's all i have you know what i mean but it's like i'm gonna gas you if you don't take that off your neck um 
you're not allowed to gas them if they're already hanging because you're obviously yeah, you're making it worse. Yeah. So if they're in the process, you have to warn them, say, hey, man, I'm going to gas you. So I told him, I said, bro, take that off your neck. I didn't say bro, but I was like, yo, take that off your neck, whatever. And uh, he's like, no, he's he had this like this like crazy in his eyes. Yeah, it's mm -hmm. crazy. Look, he was like, no, nah, I'm doing it. I'm doing it. And he kept like going about like making the knot. And I'm like, yo, I'm going to gas you. Don't tighten that. Don't tighten that up. And uh, he was like, it, it's happening. It's happening. And I just like. He's like a three-year-old and shit. It's like, don't touch that grasshopper. Exactly. I, yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't touch the right, grasshopper. Right, right, right. <laughs> exactly. Don't touch that glass. Don't touch that glass. And just uh, tip it over. Uh, yeah. Uh, so I fucking wasted the whole can on him, bro. Just started gassing him. But the thing was, though, I feel like this motherfucker's done this shit before. This was like a plan because he had his little fan mm -hmm. facing me. While, so while I'm oh. gassing him, it's blowing back on me. <laughs> so now that's really? fucking funny, bro. So now <laughs> I'm blowing. I'm I'm gassing him. He's coughing. I'm coughing. I'm just like <coughs> I'm like trying to call on my radio, like Lieutenant. We got a whatever the code was, like so mm. so. Uh, and then you know they came running down, and he's like, uh, uh, you know, he's coughing and shit, and he's like his eyes are burning, and he's telling the 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 Lieutenant, he's like, yo. <coughs> I can't, I can't breathe. I'm choking. I can't breathe. I can't breathe. And it's like the fucking inmates, bro. They're, they're ruthless, bro. The inmates, they are, they picking up on what's going on. And they was like, that's what the fuck was going to happen if you was hanging yourself, dumbass. Like they was just talking shit. Hilarious. Bro. What else they got at that point? I'd be the, the front ringer of that shit as I'm getting Damn. fucked in the ass. Oh my God. <laughs> so this one was making jokes and somebody's fucking his arms. Fail. They, they just like, they didn't care, man. And the, and the thing is like, they still have to go about the procedure, like the process uh, before mm -hmm. they go and get the inmate out of the cell. So before they get him, while he's coughing and choking, his eyes are burning, mm -hmm. they have to make sure he has nothing in his hands. So we have to say, show us your hands front and back. Um, you know, th um, take your fingers and go through your hair to make sure there's nothing in his hair. Like razor blades. Mm -hmm. Yeah, something. razor blades. Go inside your 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 lips, like you rub around your gums, make sure there's no red blades in there. Yeah. Uh, he has to get stripped naked. And you got to, you know, spread your cheeks, lift your nuts. You got to make sure everything is cleared before we go in there and get you. So he's coughing all this whole entire time. Just like everything's burning. And then that's when they went ahead and uh, everything was clear. They, they went in there and got him. And when they got him, they cuffed him and they're walking him out. Uh, the inmates are just talking shit, you know. Damn, so so you painted that boy. You painted him, man. Damn, so so you did graffiti on that boy. Like that's they, fucking they're hilarious. They're just talking hot shit about that dude. Man, like Ooh. if I was in prison, though, I mean, this is not even as a joke. If I have nothing to look forward to except for the cells of my of the walls of my cell, I don't. I, I would be in the same situation as him. I think I would probably try to kill myself. I can't. I can't imagine yeah. having my my human rights. And then my freedom stripped away from me. Yeah. It's a frightening, frightening fucking yeah. thought. Yeah, I cannot man. survive in yeah. prison, bro. It's smaller than this <clears throat> than this room. See, I can't. The cell it's way much smaller. I would say like cut in half. Like this is probably two cells, cut in half. And you have a toilet on the mm -hmm. back wall, and then you have the bunk bed. That's it. Walls. That's crazy. Yeah, and then you have your 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 uh your celly, your you know the, your mm -hmm. other person who you're sharing the cell with, and sh you taking a shit, man. You just got to sit there while somebody's taking a shit. You got to sit. That's there. my worst nightmare yeah. ever, dude. Have and, you ever had to put your paws on somebody real quick? Hell no, man. No, the, the your your biggest your strongest weapon as a CO is your pen. Oh, I'm gonna write you up. Yep, straight up. And they take away a That's little bit. The, that's oh, the shit. shit that they would say. Yeah, man. And 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 my thing was like, when you first go in, they tell you like, when you first go in, you got to be hard. You got to be a cop. You got to be a robo cop, as they would say. Like, you got to be stern. That take advantage of you and shit. Huh? Yeah. So especially mm -hmm. like looking like me, I'm 18 years old too, and like I was, they was just like oh, new boots, pretty boy, Chris Brown. Like they was talking all types of shit. There was a, there was an inmate that saw me in solitary confinement. He was like, he saw me through his little window. I just heard him holler out, Alicia Keys, Alicia Keys. And That's I was fucking like, funny. yo, and the fucking. Uh, like, How do you know who Alicia Keys is? You've been in here, you dumb bitch. Fam, he, they was hollering Alicia Keys and the lieutenant was like, well, sounds like they're hollering at you, Sosa. That's fucking funny. Yeah, dude. That, they're not hollering at me because they call me Mariah Carey. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, wow. Okay. So I was just like, man, it's, it was a, it was some shit. So whenever I got on, and I was really like trying to be hard, like yeah. I like you know, 
just so that they would I would get that respect. Mm -hmm. Like I'm not playing around. Like you know what I mean? Yeah. Like mm -hmm. fuck that new boot shit, whatever, whatever. Like no, nah, this is serious. So I would take every little thing, things that like you would just let slide, just whatever. I'll tell them like, yo, let me see your ID. They'd be like, yo, whoa, 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 what? Like uh, we do this all the time. No, 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 give me your ID. I would do that. I don't. I, would, I didn't write them up because it's a shitload of paperwork for yeah. nothing. Right. Yeah. I would just. I would just do it just so that at the end of the day, I give it back to them, and I'm like, "Hey, man, don't do that shit when I'm working, because the next time I'm gonna actually write your ass up." So it would be things yeah. like that. Of like, you have to. Yeah. There's you no gotta choice. gain that yeah, respect. Got to get to it because then it got to a level of like they would come in, they'd be like, "How you doing? How you doing, Officer Sosa? How you doing, Officer Sosa? You know what I mean? Like, cool, keeping mm -hmm. it cool. And then I got to loosen up, be myself, yeah. still have authority, but still be like, "Come on, man, you know you ain't supposed to be doing that." Yeah. Stuff like that. Mm -hmm. like, but it can't be like that at first. And no, 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 because then they'll, they'll just run over you, bro. Yeah. It's like you it's like because you got facial hair. I don't got facial hair, dude. They're like, "What's this fucking three? You had to be clean shaven <laughs> and the CEO. Oh, really? Well, you can have a mustache. It's a union job, so like union jobs, oh, you, you can keep a mustache but i can't mm -hmm. even get that bro yeah <laughs> i got six like i got like two catfish hairs coming out my face that's what oh, i believe about damn. it <laughs> they be clowning me all day they call me baby face butt cheek face all this other stuff yeah i get my bro. feelings hurt too i'm like you better stop man <laughs> yeah, yeah man. i got feelings man that shit was wild in there bro i cut I, I can't there was another time the inmates fucking trolled me so fucking bad bro i can't believe this shit happened but so I I got uh, I had to work showers right and so there has to be an officer inside the showers to make sure there's no fucking fucking going on mm -hmm. right uh, or like, any fights or whatever like guy fucking yeah and so oh uh, man, I was just making jokes before shit's real huh okay yeah 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 <laughs> now my palm hey sweating. man you know that shit like fucking the whole like drop the soap yeah you yeah, know that's just real the the fact that the inmates say this shit. When the inmates say, yeah, whatever, that's why Johnson drops the soap. I'm like, yo, we're actually in prison. Yeah. Like, <laughs> y'all can't be see They really well, say that shit. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. So so anyway, I'm working showers, right? And then an inmate, he fucking, he convinced me. He was just like, hey, man, I know it's your first time working showers, but you just throw your shades on. Easy work. Call it a day. You know, throw your shades on. Don't even worry about it. Just sit there. We'll, we'll be in and out, right? And so I was like, I kind of took it of like, you know, I, I've, I've been there for a little minute. It's my first time doing showers. I was like, all right, cool. You know, fuck it. Put my shades on. I'm chilling. So I'm sitting mm -hmm. in the showers, man. Shades on. And uh, we go and I get an officer comes and breaks me. Like he comes and like, you know. And so he pulls me. I said, so, so come out here. I said, all right. Come on. He's like, why are you, why are you let them inmates tell you to put the shades on, man? And I was like, I was like, no, nah, I, I, no, nah, I put them on myself. He was like. <laughs> Nobody puts shades on in the in the showers. I was like, why? He's like, the inmates tell you that shit to make it so that you look like you're you're trying to look at their dicks, but so that you don't get caught. You wear the shades so you could be looking at dicks. That's so they know funny. they know that the officers that wear shades, you're just trying to look at dicks so That's that you don't and you don't funny. get caught. So they fuck with you. And I was like, oh. All right. <laughs> I just like slowly taking my glasses off. I wasn't looking at dick, bro, by the way. I was just, I was looking at I was dicks. just trying to, you know. <laughs> yeah. These fluorescent lights got me. <laughs> Fucked with me, man. And I remember when I got back, like from my break, the showers were already done, but I went back to the cell block and shit. I was just like, fucking lockdown for the rest of the day, bitches. Like, I was fucking pissed. <laughs> yeah. And just, I went past that dude's uh, fucking cell block, man. He was like, man, I see you got the shades on. You still got the shades? Like, he was like, fucking with me. I was like, you fucking asshole, man. Oh, man. I'd be <laughs> laughing too much in prison then i'm like yo got me that's fucking funny dude. <laughs> yeah man they would fuck with me man that's like, hilarious i yeah. can't believe you were a fucking correctional officer it was a random it, it was hell around I, before that i was a uh, uh, uh i was working drive through at mcdonald's it was like well what the fuck the where's the up. jump how does that happen <laughs> okay and you're so, 18 so the jump so the jump happened like this all right i had uh i went to college for like two weeks dropped out smart guy wasn't fucking with me <laughs> yeah and then uh so I will put his name on a piece of paper and left. <laughs> What's talk. your name? Too many fucking questions. <laughs> 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 I just said your name, man. <laughs> Fuck this. <laughs> and so that's really what happened. It was actually I opened up a new fucking textbook and I just like the smell of the paper. I was like, mm -hmm. oh my god, this ain't this shit again. This. This yeah. I got to do this shit for another four years. Yep. Got me fucked up. So <laughs> got out of sentence. So I went back. So I went back to uh uh live with my mom's. And we, uh, I went and got me a job at the McDonald's around, the, you know, down, around the corner from the neighborhood. 
And then so they, they booked me. They they hired me doing, uh, I'm so Hollywood. They booked me. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> I got booked for this McDonald's gig. That's and, uh, and so <laughs> You're hired, huh? Yeah. 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 <laughs> I came in with a headshot. I know. Like there you a, go, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so they gave me the uh, the third shift. So I was working like from 11 p.m. to 7 in the morning. And at 4 in the morning, correctional officers would come and get their breakfast, right? I didn't know they were correctional officers until I asked this uh, uh, this lady boss. She, and I was like, yo, what's that uniform? And they're like, oh, I'm a correctional officer. I work at the prison at, you know, so-and-so. I was like, oh, damn. And I was like, yo, is it like the movies? Like, is that shit like for real? She was just like, honey. It's the easiest job you could ever have. And I was like, word? She said, it's like a daycare for men, for grown, for adults. Yeah. And I was like, all right. And I was like, how are you getting in? She was like, if you pass the academy, you're in. Like I said, you just got to pass the academy. So I was just like, all right. I looked it up. I, I joined the academy or whatever. And how long uh, does that take? The academy was six weeks every day. You know, and um, it's pretty intense. Yeah. Six weeks, you know, you, you're doing the whole like you got to do the, you know, the fitness thing. And then you got to do the, the 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 guns. You have to learn how to shoot a handgun, a shotgun and a rifle. Uh, that's for when you're in the pickets. Um, in case, you know, somebody tries to escape, you got to, mm-hmm. you know, you got to shoot them. Um, <laughs> Damn, that's just real. huh? Know. Yo, they they'll put you, they'll put you in the picket. And sometimes the picket was like a, it was kind of like a punishment. Like, if you weren't doing what you're supposed to do, you know, as a CO, whatever, they'll just put you up in the picket. You know what I mean? The, our our unit was called the Walls Unit. Uh, it was like, it's like the oldest prison. Uh, I believe it's the oldest prison there. And then the, the walls were hella high. So it's like, it's it's called the Huntsville Unit, but AKA Walls Unit. Mm-hmm. Um, so uh, uh, they'll put you up in the picket and you just sit there with your handgun, your shotgun, just like, damn, which one do I want to use on myself? <laughs> you know because you, you're doing a whole 10 hour shift in the picket and you don't go Damn. out you don't get lunch like you get lunch but the, the a ceo has to come and bring you mm-hmm. your tray lunch and like you know use a little pulley and bring it up to you that's like a prison sentence what the fuck yeah man they get you got a toilet up there and some newspaper what was the pay really? like for a ceo oh the pay was nice man i think i was getting like uh three thousand a month damn for an 18 year old kid Hey man, I was I was living nice after taxes. It was like twenty five or something, whatever. But still, yeah. hey man, I was out. I, I was, and the thing was, I was on a college campus. He actually, you yeah, went to Huntsville. Yeah. <laughs> um, so him and my brother, they were roommates uh, out there in Huntsville, and I was living the college life without going to college. I f- fucking finessed it, bro. Yeah. I, I, you know, I was like, I, I had my own car. I, I was living with my brother, but like, it was shit. Daniel had my own place. Like, he wasn't in there. Yeah, he was chilling. You know, he had his girl, so he was always with his girl. But I, oh um, yeah, man, going to, to going to parties, college parties, going to the little club that they had in there, and then go to work. <laughs> I would pull up with my uniform too, look at fly, starch, <laughs> crease, and everything. It was like, oh, look at him, professional. He got money. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> That's tight. Yeah. Damn, dude, I had no idea. What a fucking colorful life you've lived, dude. It's weird, man. That's some Came weird way, shit. Yeah, it's it's a weird ass. Like I did my 10 year decade. I, I hit my 10 year mark and I like went back and looked at all these videos and shit. And I was like, I even kind of like shocked myself. I was like, damn, I did a lot of shit. In the past 10 years of like, I was like, what the fuck, you know? And that correctional officer one always like catches me like, damn, can't believe I did that shit. That's some weird stuff, (laughs) man. I don't think I would have ever picked up a job like that, though. It's really like being in prison. You just get to go home. See, that's scary to me, man. It's like, I just, we're just wearing two different uniforms. We're on the other side of the bars, but you're in that prison for 10 hours. And it's like, you're with the inmates longer than you're with, you know, yeah, your fam. Like, yeah. every, when I would get home, people, they're asleep. Because so. I would watch that mm-hmm. show, Scared Straight. Oh, man, that show made me laugh so hard, dude. Yeah, bro. Just because they got some of the baddest kids in there, dude. They <laughs> really think they're so tough. Yeah. And then you got fucking Debo comes up to you in a little bit. He goes, what's up, sweet cakes? Yeah. You know we call you in prison? <laughs> fucking light lunch, little motherfucker. They're like, oh, shit. What's all this lingo I've never heard yeah. of? Light lunch? What's yeah. light lunch? <laughs> what's up, <laughs> snack attack? Like, oh, my God. Yeah. <laughs> Rub this Kool-Aid on your your lips. I want to kiss it off of you. Like, what? <laughs> Hold my pocket real quick. Like, yeah. Hold my pocket. Hold my- <laughs> I literally took his fucking took out his pockets out of his pants and yeah. said hold my pocket and this kid had to hold his pockets yeah. I was like yo that's the most degrading thing ever Jeez. hold my pockets I'm like what's that mean sir? <laughs> literally hold my pockets. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, oh my buckets. Yeah. Oh man. Yeah. It's just fucking wild, man. Like the wildest shit that I like. 
I shouldn't have been this comfortable, but I used to work uh, in the uh, craft shop. And in the craft shop, it was basically like, it was like a room full of elves. Like they, they're just making all these shits. Like there's, there's the, the wood department. Then there was a leather department. Like they would mm. make like leather bags. They would make uh, boots. That's nice. They would, make, they would make, yeah. And the thing, like the line to get hired into the craft shop is like years. Like, cause yeah. the people who are actually in there, they're never leaving. Because oh, that's, nice. that's like their recess. Yeah. So it's like, hell yeah, I'm gonna go to, I'm gonna work for the crash shop. Mm-hmm. Like yeah. they made things for the uh they've made things for the president. They've made things for like I I oh this thing right here. This is made in the prison. This is a um so this little clip right here, I put the keys in my pocket and then the clip hangs out. Mm-hmm. So it's easier to pull the keys out, you know. Oh. And so uh, all the CEOs have this thing, and so it has Sosa right here, and the inmate made this for me. Um, yeah. So what the fuck? Yeah. So that's like, so w- when you go into the craft shop, they just get to stay there if they if they get in, and they could just choose to leave whenever. Um, well, there's there's it's certain like they have like a, a shift, so like they got they go clock into the craft shop and then they they leave, but it's it's damn near like majority of their day that they're in the craft shop. I would do that. They'll go have lunch and then come back. And go, I would do craft shop because I got to keep busy or yeah. I will lose my mind. Yeah, and the art in there, bro, is insane. Bro. Like dope. Yeah. Well, yeah. They're, they're, they, got, they got nothing but time. Yeah, man. And they're doing dope shit. They and then they got you know the metal part too. That's you know they're welding. They're making all these things, man. And uh, they come up with some creative shit, bro. But the thing is, I'm surrounded with inmates who have life in prison, so they really have no fuck. They give no fucks, mm-hmm. you know. And they have all these tools, bro. To Drills, kill you. That's what I was saying. Like, to, like that's what. I, and my thing. What the thing was is like. To to like kind of like ease your mind, they don't want to lose this opportunity. Yeah, they'll never get it back. They'll never get it back, and you know the the uh, they'll you know get more time or whatever the fuck, whatever would happen. So, Solitary confinement, whatever shit. So like. it's like it was like I when I when I came in, man, it was it was it was literally like I was like the Santa. Of yeah. like, hey, so so hey, so we get to go to work because like I had the keys. They would they'd be like behind me, excited like for me to open the door so they can hurry yeah. up and get in and you know make their to... shit that they worked on the other day. Yeah, oh, I would like I wouldn't mind that if I was in prison doing that stuff. Yeah, man, just I just don't want to be wow. around people. I don't mind as long as I'm doing being active and I'm making it, I'm creating shit. Then yeah. I get to get my creative willies out. Yeah, but if I'm in there, just I don't know, I gotta play football with people or play basketball and shit. I don't want to do that stuff. Yeah, oh, that, that was a lot of racist jokes. I just gotta take it. <laughs> I just gotta take it. <laughs> but so, that seems like stuff though. That's like if you're playing basketball and things like that. It's more stuff that you're like you're still like somewhat free choice to do that. And other stuff seems more like isn't that stuff being used by like corporations that are using the fucking jail as like a it's like a machine oh you know yeah as long as i keep busy i'm okay <laughs> be cool yeah because yeah, well, i gotta get the memory of getting my arms fucked <laughs> the night before so i gotta just i gotta i gotta work on something you that's know true. what i mean that's fucking true that's true yeah. oh, i got a fucking rug burn on my fucking inner arm and shit you know what i mean They're like yo why are your forearms so red man, fucking, don't ask bro true. let me just let me just make this belt buckle real quick yeah, shut the fuck up right right <laughs> Yeah, man, and 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 also like, yo, there's inmates who they've paid for their kids' college with that. Like, they they yeah. can actually make money. It just goes to their books, and then they can transfer money from their books to an actual account. Man, dude, because I had That's a, true. I have a couple of buddies who went to prison, man, and uh, one guy he went to prison. Uh, I wouldn't say he was my buddy because he was like seven or eight years older than me and he used to go to our church. But, you know, he tried to become a born again Christian type of shit. Mm. It didn't really work out well for him. He went back to thuggery. Oh. But uh, he, <laughs> he went, went to back. prison for like five years because uh, for what do you call this? Uh, what do you when you rob a car? What's that called? Grand theft. You, yeah, grand theft. So he fucking jacked the car. Right. So okay. he went to prison for like five years or some shit like that. OK. Um, that fool told me that the first night that he was in prison, he heard somebody crying because he was getting fucked in the ass. Oh my See. god! And he was like fucking nineteen at the time, uh, and you know shit like that is yeah. where I was like, I can never go to prison. Never. Yeah, I can't do it, dude. I I can't even resist sometimes when I get to an Asian massage and the lady massages me too hard. Mm-hmm. I won't say shit. <laughs> <laughs> I just let her beat me up. Yo, that's the thing, like, because <laughs> yeah. they'll say because they'll be like, you, they ask you in the beginning of like uh, hard, soft, medium, or uh-huh. they'll be like soft or medium or oh, hard, soft. and I'm like, uh. 
medium because I want to sound like a bitch. Like I, I could exactly. really do soft, uh -huh. but I'd be like, I'm like, do medium, right? Because mm -hmm. I've, I've asked for soft before, and they're just like caressing you, yeah, and then yeah, it's like, course. this actually just. I'm dumb, dude. I said hard. Give it to me hard, oh. and I hate it every time. <laughs> I yeah. hate it every time. So I had I do a couples massage with people, right? Okay. So uh, Julia, you know, you met Julia from uh, JK, right? Oh yeah. So when we ha we hang out, we have this thing. We go eat, and then we go get a massage, right? Okay. Because it's like twenty dollars cheaper if you do a couples massage. Really? Mm. And so <laughs> this bitch, she likes getting her spirit massage. Like these, these <laughs> ladies, these ladies go into her past. That's how deep. <laughs> that's how deep they're massaging her, right? <laughs> and so every time they ask for the massage, they ask her first, and they go. Would you like a hard, a medium, a soft, right? <laughs> and then she goes, really hard, please. And I'm waiting for them to ask me, right? Uh, but because she says really hard, they assume that yeah. I want the same intensity right, as this pale little Asian right. girl. Well, if she wants really hard, then he's going to yeah. want. And they don't even ask. I'm waiting for them to ask Super me. Super ultra. And then she just starts. And I'm like, oh. <laughs> but I can't say anything because I don't want to be like a little bitch when she's over here like this feels really good Yeah, and all you hear it just sounds like somebody's uh, fucking cracking open a bag of Dorito chips just crack 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 yeah. all over my body yeah. this lady don't give a fuck about me I think she just does it to fuck with me at this point oh my gosh like man. she would hear me and I exhale really sharp <laughs> and she's like are you okay sir and I go Yes, I am perfectly fine. When they use their elbows, their <laughs> sharp ass elbows, and they're just like jamming that shit into your collarbone. Like, what are you doing? Yeah. And how does this help me? I don't know. I'm leaving feeling more hurt Dude, than when I came in. I had a, <laughs> a, the first time I ever had a deep tissue Asian massage is at this place out in Chinatown. Mm -hmm. And they're supposed to be what they call quote unquote really good, which basically they just do Muay Thai on your ass for like an hour. <laughs> right. But, um, First time I ever had one, I was getting the fucking massage. And mm -hmm. I was like, damn, dude. Like, this guy is fucking me up. Like, he's yeah. destroying me, man. And I'm like, this guy must be jacked. I look up. It was like an 80-year-old Asian lady. I was like, what is wrong with you, dude? Where, do you, where, where is this source of strength coming from? This bitch was praying to Buddha for 10 hours for strength to massage me. And she fucked me up, dude. She damn. beat me up. And she goes, do you feel pressure here? I'm like, yep. She goes, got it. Boom. <laughs> <laughs> no! Got no! it. <laughs> hey, don't worry. It's right here. This is where it hurt right here. You oh. won't have a rip tomorrow. Turn it into sand dust. Oh. <laughs> She'll give a fuck about me, man. Damn, man. Oh. I like. I think Asian massages are one of those things like... I always find it weird when white people get Asian massages. It's like, well, you guys, don't, you guys are used to that Swedish shit, you mm. know, where they, where they, it looks like they're playing with like kinetic sand or something. Yeah, you know what I mean, but when yeah. they, when they go to like Asian massage, I always mm -hmm. find it weird. It's like, you like this shit? I was like, damn, you guys don't have enough struggle to go through this shit, man. That's crazy. Yeah, it's too much, man. It hurts. It really hurts. And I don't know because they, they would say they'd be like too hard. And I'm like, <laughs> mm -hmm. no, <Nope>. perfect. <laughs> yeah. It's perfect. It's perfect. <laughs> I like it. I like it. Yeah. This, uh, there's like this funny thing that uh, <laughs> happened to me when she, this lady uh, got on my back. She put her knees in my ass cheeks, started rotating her knees, and she started kicking my calves with her foot <laughs> at the same time. <laughs> it's the weirdest sensation ever. Yeah. Knees in the ass, kicking my calves with the foot like that. Uh, <laughs> fucking damn. crazy, man. Yeah, but it feels so good whenever you're you're done with it though, right? Like compared to the other massages. I mean, if I had a knot and they took it out, it feels really good. But during that <laughs> but time, not. it's just like, I ain't falling asleep in this shit. Sometimes I just want to fall asleep. I have. Yeah. Sometimes I have. And and I I kind of like, I kind of freak myself out of like, yo, you just straight up fell asleep. While somebody's like, fucking you up. Mm -hmm. Yeah. While somebody's really like, they could really do some things to you. You know what I'm saying? But I mean, oh, well. Okay, well, uh, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, where were you going? I wonder, yeah, I wonder where this goes. Oh, when, when, I was out in, uh, when I was out in Vegas not too long ago, it was like 10 o'clock. And uh, when, I'm, when I'm on flights, my back tightens up a lot. I just mm. wanted a regular fucking massage. So mm. uh, the, the spas and the hotels were closed. So I had to go to like, you know, Asia Town to get a massage. Yeah. It's like 1030, maybe around there or some shit. Yeah. Trying to get a massage. I even tweeted the shit out because I was so fucking irritated. Mm -hmm. Like every fucking place that I went, they wouldn't give me a massage and they were open. And I was like, can I get a massage? They're like, oh, what kind of massage you want? I was like, like a deep tissue. They're like, mm, we don't have anybody. And I'm like, you mean you don't have anybody? I literally see fucking like three women right yeah, here. Yeah. Somebody fucking massage. Uh -huh. Like, oh, not that kind of massage. And I'm like, mm. so, okay, whatever. I just want a regular <laughs> massage. Yeah. And so I went to a next place and I was like, yo, can I get a massage? Yeah. They wouldn't take me either. Cause it's, I I guess like what's what somebody They're was like no to me, you want to get massage massage because <laughs> what it is yeah. is that the jack off thing is just way more money 
Mm-hmm. So they would rather just get that than have to work on this 200 pound man yeah. and actually do work at 11 o'clock at night. <laughs> they just want to be able to. <laughs> they just want to jack me off and then move on and get more money. But I'm like, I want a fucking massage. Somebody give me yeah, a huh. fucking massage. Yeah. I was getting pissed. Yeah. And I finally found one and they finally gave me one, but it was terrible. This oh, sucks. Oh, damn. What, you don't want to get your dick sucked or what? <laughs> like, like they were mad at me for being a stand up guy. Right. Like, no, I want a regular fucking massage. Yeah. Oh, look at you, Mr. Special. What, you Christian or something? <laughs> Not a Catholic uh, guy come here all the time, but Christian people, no. <laughs> yeah. Damn, man. Life is crazy, man. So you're single. You single? I am. Damn, dude. When's the last time you had a girl? Oh, it was a while ago, man. It was like three years ago. Damn, damn. dude. No lady for you? Let's go. We talking to. Let's go. We talking to. Oh, you be talking to people coming to LA, trying to be all cute and shit. There it is. Hey man, it's, it's a whole different vibe out here. There, you really got to like change how you do, how you approach things, and, and it's harder out here. In terms of like your, your, yeah. I mean, yeah, a it's a little bit. harder, right? That's what I noticed when I first came to LA. I was like, women are a little more difficult out here. I don't know what that is. I don't know either, man. And I, and a, a big, I mean, it's just. It's it's California. It's the California dream. It's like this whole. There's so much choice. I think that's what it is. There's mm. so much choice. Everybody is like an actress, yeah. or that they, they're looking for somebody who got a lot of money or something. Right. And I'm like, it's such an interesting thing because they're not as open to conversation, right? When I was out in Houston, right? A hey, H town. Very easy to talk to. They're just mm-hmm. open for conversation. It doesn't mean it's going to go somewhere, mm-hmm. but at least the conversation starts. It's yeah. very warm. Yeah. But over here, it's a little different. They kind of already stand off. It's just like. Bitch, you made that fine. I'm just trying to have a conversation. Like, what right. the fuck is wrong with you? Yeah. And they're like, no thanks. First of all, you are way uglier than me. <laughs> you don't get to say no thanks to me. All right. Yeah. What the yeah. fuck? Yeah. I'm not that cute, but you fucking ugly. Like, how dare you? No <laughs> thanks. Yeah. You no thanks to you, dude. I'm saying no thanks to you, you fucking bitch. Right. How dare you? I don't know, man. LA, girls, especially even girls like from LA, like or or the valley, they mm-hmm. just like vanish on you out of nowhere. At least from my my experience, yeah, dating a girl from out here, that like they'll they'll really like get to know you. They'll dig and like you guys are like really vibing. You think it's like oh shit, this is actually yeah, yeah. like this yeah. girl's dope as fuck. She gets it. She she's not really uh-huh. the the industry doesn't really phase her, so she doesn't play that game. She's like yeah, she's yeah. all yeah. She grew up on it. It's all just chill. And then like on, the, uh, on a Monday, just you won't hear from her at all. Gone, ghost. Like I didn't really know what ghosting was until they just up and disappear on you. <laughs> till it's yeah, straight That's what I'm up. I'm saying bro. it's the options thing. You man. never ghost on anybody in your life? Uh, no. Nah, I mean, don't lie. Okay, don't lie. Well, I wouldn't. No, no, I wouldn't ghost. It would just be the uh the 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 energy would change. So like I'll keep answers short. So where you would kind of just catch oh, that's the vibe. Not, that's, yeah, not, yeah. that's not ghosting. That's yeah, not yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I'm saying. I wouldn't just go ghost. The only time I would go ghost is like I end up getting a girlfriend, and then now all right, I got to cut people off. The only yeah. the only girl I ever ghosted on per se was uh, a girl that I hooked up with when I went to uh, Princeton for a college show. Right, mm-hmm. she was really cute and stuff. Whatever, those things were fine. Yeah. This was during the time I was on a break with my with my other the girl that I was with. Okay, but we were broken up at the time before we got back together. So that's right. free card. Whatever. Gotcha. And I ghosted on her because it was. First of all, she was an international student, so she went back to Australia. Mm -hmm. So, you know, nothing's supposed to happen. But then she just started messaging me a lot. And I was like, well, hold on a second. Like, I thought it was mutually agreed that this was just a one-time thing. And then we just move on and life's good or whatever. I think she got really attached. And it was something really fucking small that made her really like me more was that I remembered her name. Mm -hmm. Because, you know, like you're doing meet and greets, you're meeting a lot Mm -hmm. of people. And then uh, I saw her at a bar. I was like, what's up? And I said her name. And she goes, oh, my God, you remember my name. And that's just the end of the story. That's all it took. I was like, well, look at that. You're a very sweet girl. But then she started messaging me through this message app. This is Korean message app called Kakao. Uh And she was messaging me constantly. And I was like. What does Kakao mean? Kakao is, I don't know what the fuck it means, but it's just like a messaging app. Okay. It's like, it could be called Bleeber or something like that. I could be wrong. Korean people are going to be mad at me. I don't know. Hmm. But (laughs) yeah, I think like what she took, which was supposed to be a quick hookup into something a little more mm. and that's when it got a little weird and what i should have done was just been more straightforward about it but mm. i was you know i was like what 25 26 i didn't know and i freaked out and i was like uh don't respond <laughs> i just didn't respond to hey anything. man these dating apps are out because i i hopped on you back on it but huh? the thing is is like you gotta delete it after like two weeks 
It's addictive. It gets well, dangerous. It, it's it gets dangerous, and then it gets for me. It, I go deep. It gets deep, and it gets disgusting. What you mean, disgusting? Because you could just find yourself in a rabbit hole. Because <laughs> you know you're not getting the you're not really getting the the the, the bad ones. Because the bad ones are really just like they're not even real fucking profiles. They just yeah. make the app look good. Mm-hmm. Now, those are like the ones that you get like a little paid promo. You get a little Instagram hoe to like. Sorry, Instagram model, you know, nice looking person to, you know, be like, oh my God, download oh, you mean this Instagram app. ho. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what you mean. Yeah. And so uh, those, and then those, those aren't active. And then you got to go another tier below, right? You got, you got, yeah. And then get a little complicated. Tiers yeah. 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 Then they, those are kind of just like, they're, they're, they're not there to, you know, they're just there to just chat or just, they really want to be friends. They get the what fuck what off the of Twitter. <laughs> yeah. What the fuck is this? Then you got to go another tier. Where it's like there's there's the <laughs> that low level. They stuff. just trying to fuck. <laughs> they just trying to fuck, but it's like they're they're older. Oh it's, uh, yeah, because you know they're bigger. You know what I'm saying? And the thing is, it's fun. And then it ends up being like, oh shit, because they're more mature. They don't got time don't for none fuck. of that shit. So it's like, hey, yeah, let me see that dick. Like, oh, for real? <laughs> And it's just like, you know, it ends up being like on this like weird shit where I'm like showing my dick to a 56 year old. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, what is going on? And they're like, oh, man, you know what I would do with that? First of all, I would take out my mm-hmm. teeth and <laughs> <laughs> lay it to the side and give you these gummy gums. You know what I'm saying? And so um, and and I'm over here just like, you know, it's dark. I'm in my room by myself. And my dog's mm-hmm. looking at me I'm like, don't look at me. Like, it's just it, it's, it's, like, it's what are you doing? Yeah, man. To where like, all right, I got to delete this shit. I, it always it always happens. I get I go way too deep. It gets way too, you know, That's, and trannies. It's tranny. Heavy. Oh, you get a lot of those. It's oh, you know what, heavy. though? I'm about to save your ass real quick. I found out that tranny is not a politically correct term. Oh, my term. bad. My bad. So what's the... I'm sorry. I don't know what it is, but I know it's. I know that's not the word, okay, though. Because well, I yeah. remember I just found out that uh, uh, retarded is also something that you're not supposed okay, to say. Okay, yeah, okay, yeah. okay. Well, um... I think it's like trans. Transgender. Tran- transgender, transgender or transsexual. Okay, yes. transsexual. Okay. Shout outs to the trans people. Oh, not yeah, trying yeah. To oh, no, no, no. We ain't offended. Because uh, first of all, I'm about to let, let it know now. Y'all be bad as fuck in these damn apps. Y'all, it's like, you never know. There's some fine ones. And I'm like, wait, what is happening here? And the thing is, you have to pay attention. You have to read. You have to watch the, you know, read and you have the details and shit. But the thing is, like, there's, uh, you know what? I really appreciate when they do say, like, in the bio, hey, I'm a TS or a transgender. All you got to type back is this is the dick there or not? And if they go, it's not there, then you a woman. What's up? <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. And, but what's, I would, and what's the what's the key in which your voice is at when you speak? Well, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> are we in well, the same I, octave we, right now or are well, you in a lower or a higher octave? <laughs> well, that's that, and that's what I'm saying. Like, uh, and again, especially like if you're like fucking horny as fuck, you ain't mm-hmm. paying attention. You're just like hitting everybody up. Yo, yo, what's up? Yo, we up? What's up? What's up? You It can't like I've, I've definitely had times like super amateur mode. Where I'm just like hitting people up, and then they'll be like, "Oh yeah, I'm down to suck that dick," and I'm like, "Oh damn, hold up, I damn, go, that's fast." And I go, "See, the thing is though, is like, <laughs> they they still have a pee pee, and when you have a pee pee, oh that's 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 you a- have the mentality of a pee pee." So you're like, yeah, hell yeah, I'm down. And then you go, and then so because whenever whenever they hit me, it was like, hey, I'm a TS. I'm like, then you got to dip. Like, bro, why would you do that? Why all you gotta, you all that? you gotta ask is, is is the elephant trunk still there, or did somebody <laughs> poach it? Like, what happened? Did, did it get poached or not? Let me oh, know. Oh man, nah, the I don't. I really don't appreciate when the conversation go. What like. If, you know, it's just completely just you don't catch it. I didn't look at details. I'm not looking at shoulders, necks, hands. Like, I'm not looking mm-hmm. at these things. And I'm just like, and the conversation goes all the way. And then at the end, they go, yo, you know, I'm a TS, right? I'm like, bro. Should have told me in the in the beginning. Now, it would have been nice if you were honest. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? Like, that's fucked up. You know what I mean? Yeah, but I'm, at the end of the day, it is. I'm, you know, my horny ass, right? Yeah. But, uh, yeah, that shit has happened to me before where I'm like. Yeah, it's just the, 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 the bad thing is like, I just wish you were honest in the beginning because then, you know, mm-hmm. there's this whole thing that happened. It's like, yeah. you're yeah. just honest in the beginning. 
Yeah. yeah. We could have yeah. just figured it out then. Like, yeah. no, no, no. I'm not saying anything about your lifestyle. It's just, that's just not what I fuck with. Man, I've you know? like the, I've had messages saying like, oh, you're fine as fuck. Da, da, da. And I don't, I'm not going to sit here and be a dick and be like, yo, I don't fuck with y'all. I don't fuck. You know? I'm like, oh, I appreciate it. And then keep it moving. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I got hit up on my DMs. Like actually just the other day, there's a, a, a gay man who told me he was gay and he was just like, hey, no disrespect, but I think you're fine as fuck. And I was like, you know what? You I appreciate great. it. I'll you take the great. fucking compliment. Hell yeah. This fool over here just flexing on us right now. I Let know. me tell you something. Transsexuals, <laughs> transgenders, uh, Everybody sexual loves people. A donkey yesterday came up to me and kissed me right in my butthole, said, Mwah. and I was like, thank you very much. <laughs> all teeth, all big ass front teeth. Hey, man, I don't know what it is. On but my ball sack. In the gay community, I'm a dime. So I, I'll take Damn, it. Damn, man. Oh, Look at this guy. He's wow. sick of him already, wow. dude. This fool's just oh, flexing I've been on sick of him, man. I've been sick of him. <laughs> <laughs> hey man, the, the, but yo, because Bati is like, I ca- I got so happy when he moved over here, man. I was because you know his family, you know what I mean. So I, I, without a doubt, I was like, yo, come live with me, man. It's gonna be dope as fuck. I got hell. Thank happy. God I got out of there, man. You know. Well, yeah, I can't stand this motherfucker. Like I really hate. <laughs> this I was like, I really was like, what the fuck did I do? Why did I make this decision? Why is he living with me? Why? 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 Because this guy is. The biggest troll. The there it biggest is. I, troll. I wouldn't say that, but you know, of teach their own. Teach their own. <laughs> of course you wouldn't. Yeah, he's a fucking <laughs> troll, bro. It, it, it's uh, there's always something like because you think that I'm like really flexing right now, but this guy, everything he says is a flex of like that's why a, he's so great. That's a damn lie. That's a lie, bro. Every time he like it messages me or anything that has to do with something he creates, he's like, bro, I'm a fucking genius, bro. Stop, I'm a fucking stop, I told him we we're gonna be on Genius Brain. He's like, You mean we we're gonna be on my brain or what? Yeah. <laughs> I was like, bro, what is your like, problem? You lying. gotta it's relax. Like, Today lying, was the bro. worst day ever. I sat down on the toilet and my dick touched the water. Shit sucks. <laughs> like, I fucking hate when that happens, man. Especially when it's not erect and it still touches the water. It's weird. You know what I mean? Fuck, man. It's just a worm in the nah, pond. Come on, like, that, just, that's very douchey. Come body, on. Body. You're a troll, man. And where did it come? Like, where, where, where did it even start? Oh, it started from my mom. Whenever I mean, it, well, what I'm saying, troll. That's not like the the internet version of troll. It's like the same when you. It's like you're fucking with your boys, kind of shit. Mm. Yeah, that, yeah, that yeah. kind of stuff, more so. But uh, for my mom, actually, like you were saying, like she's really like the funny person. In the fucking house. I can tell eating pork chops in front of the family. That lady's <laughs> hilarious, dude. I love her already. Oh man, eating fucking steak. She's like co- chopping a chicken's head off right in front of your dad. Like, <laughs> <laughs> well, what do you have? Arroz con pollo. Hold the arroz, only pollo. Smoking with your dad and shit like that. <laughs> oh, oh man. your mom was fucking hilarious. Yeah, no, she's great, guys. Oh, she's I great. never, I never even knew that because she was always so quiet at the parties. I never knew that she was a troll. She, until well, she was super stressed. Like, I mean, growing up, like until after like the kids left out the house, like she still had to be like such a mom. And I was telling him the other day, like any woman, like for them, I mean, if they're a mother, like they got so much shit to do. Like I was doing my chores the other day and just some simple shit around the house. And I was like, this took all day. And I'm like, man, I'm mom has to get home and then do some more chores for all the kids at the house and then do that all over the weekend. The same thing. I'm like, man, it's a lot of fucking energy it takes. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Shout out to all the mamas out there. You man. know, you know what I'm saying? How was your mom? Mom's a crazy ass bitch, per, per usual. <laughs> I love her though. I talk to her like almost every other day on the phone. Yeah, fucking crazy bitch. I love her to death. She just she just some funny ass shit. Like my mom's like the type of person too. Like I like talking to her because she's just a fun person to talk to. But yeah. we had, she she did this one thing the other day where I called it on her bullshit, and it was such a funny conversation because I was telling her about some marital issues that my friends have, just so I could get some advice from her, right? Uh-huh. And the first thing she does after I told her like some of the behaviors that the woman was having towards the guy and they both agreed on this so you know it came from both sides yeah and my mom says like i can't believe she would do that he should leave her immediately i was like why do you say that because she goes what kind of person would behave that way towards the 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 love of their life and i was like you threw a loaded rice cooker at her dad's head and she got really quiet she goes you remember a lot of things don't you <laughs> <laughs> she goes, that's a good memory. <laughs> <laughs> like, what the fuck? Who doesn't remember that shit? You threw a loaded rice cooker at our dad's 
head. You almost cracked his head open. Jeez. She's like, damn, wow. you remember a lot of things as a kid, huh? And I'm like, yeah. What, did he, he said something or something like to get her? Uh, my dad always says something asshole-like, but then, you know, at the time, like I always say this, when I tell these stories, just to frame it in the right thing. Uh -huh. You know, we're an immigrant family. We're broke as fuck. Life is stressful. My dad's trying to get his master's in theology, trying to be a pastor, working at a business 80 hours. Uh -huh. My mom's working at the church on her Sunday. She didn't have a single day off for like 30 years. Yeah. Man, that's really big, bro. Like, we we uh we like to blame a lot of things. Well, I mean, uh, naturally we're like, man, my parents, they're you know they they got a divorce. A lot of times mm -hmm. with divorce, like people who had divorced parents, it'd be like, yeah, but my life was shitty. My parent, I didn't, I had lived, had to live with my mom and this and that. But it's like, at the end of the day, man, your parents are still human beings who had their own individual lives yeah, that made yeah. choices that they didn't know what the fuck to do. Yeah, they didn't. You know, know what I'm saying? Know. Like, I talked to my parents. And, you know, on, on their own, I finally asked them their story, like, a couple years ago. Like, actually, I called my mom. I was like, hey, like, how did it go? Could tell me the very beginning from when you met dad till now, right? Uh, to now. And, you know, we're on the phone for an hour and a half just going in. And then, you know, I got that story. And then I asked my dad, same thing. Hey, man, let me know what, what went down from the moment this and that. And there were moments where they they matched. They were, they were even. And then there were moments of, like, this was his perspective and this was her perspective. And I was like, I could only imagine yeah. if like, if that was actually like, if they actually picked up on that perspective, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? That to if they other. communicated that or, you know, whatever the case was like well, for my dad, my dad was like super old school. So he was like, he didn't want my mom working. He wanted to do all the work, get the money and then have her at the house, raise us and, you know, cook and, you know, all these things where he was like, I, let me hold down the house and you could just be comfortable and do like that. That was my dad's mentality. My mom, she was always hella independent. She could moved out at 15 and went to go be a nanny for like some rich uh, white lady, like a mm -hmm. real estate. Well, she, she's mm -hmm. our aunt, we call her our aunt now. But, you know, she was like, you know, always doing her own thing. And when she met my dad from then on, she's never lived on her by herself ever. Like yeah. she's never lived by herself. So um, she was always having to be dependent with that wasn't even her style. So like being at home fucked with her like she wanted to go get a job she wanted to like she would be outside mowing the lawn like she would mm -hmm. do shit that's like i need to get the fuck out of here i don't want to be in this shit and uh it ended up you know being a whole shit show with like the family like they didn't she she moved to texas and she didn't feel um you know comfortable because she didn't have any family out here and you know my dad's side of the family were kind of like there we troll the whole family trolls so it's mm -hmm. like she was getting trolled and it wasn't like her thing so that was i like, ended up being the thing but it was like Damn, man, like I was really hard on the idea of like, mom, why would you why why you know, we didn't make the choice. Why would you split with my dad? Like, we didn't want to do that shit. I always I thought that was selfish. And then, you know, it's the same thing with my dad of like, yo, why were you being an asshole to my mom? And I, now that I'm an adult, I'm like, I came out of ice. Well, so it's, it's like it's I'm hard because my parents. like from your dad's perspective, he's like, Well, I'm gonna be the bread earner. I'm just gonna work. All you gotta do is take care of the family. That's it. Yeah. That's how I like it. And it's 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 his fair trade off. That's right. why your dad because he's very old fashioned. Right. But what your dad probably didn't realize, like when you told your wife to just do that, you actually didn't just tell her to live a cushy life. You're taking her identity. Yeah. Like that's who she is. Yeah. Like, before I met you, I had my life and who I was. Yeah. And what you essentially said was after you have this kid. You don't matter anymore. Now it's about this family. Yeah. It's like, yo, that's, yeah. a, that's a really hard pill to swallow. Yeah. Because, you know, I think a lot of moms kind of go through that issue where the moment that they have a kid, you stop becoming Jessica. You're like, oh, you're you're Denise's mom. Right. It's like, no, I'm Jessica. Yeah. Like, yeah. I'm this person before right. I had this child. So, you know, you kind of lose that identity when you become a parent. Some people are okay with it. I'm okay. If I have a kid, you know, let's, his name is um, Paperclip. So paperclip is coming up. They're like, you know, tic tac and thumb, uh, thumb butt. So, so they're like, oh, your thumb butt's dead, right? I'm like, yep, I'm okay with that. I'm okay with being known as the dad. Yeah. You know, but I think other people who hold on to their identity really hard, which I don't think is an issue, they just like that piece for themselves. Right. Yeah. Right. Because I'm okay yeah. being, you know, David to all my homies, but if mm. I, somebody doesn't know me and they go, hey, man, your thumb butt's dead. Yes, I am. Yeah. And I named that on purpose. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not a nickname. It's on his birth certificate. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Thumb but so. Yeah. Yeah, man. <laughs> Some I mean, other shit. Yep. Well, well, guys, that wraps up mm -hmm. this episode of the Genius Brain Podcast. You know, the reoccurring guest over here, Cristino, Chris Sosa, and Bati Duran. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah man. Sir. So where can they find y'all? You can find me at Bach Rock on Instagram. And... Go ahead. 
Oh, that's it. Oh, that's it. <laughs> oh, that's it. <laughs> oh, that's it. Y'all can follow me uh, at Cristino Sosa on all platforms, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Um, y'all can also follow our podcast. Mm-hmm. Uh, Bati and I have a podcast called Keeping It Trill. Uh, no G on the keeping, just keeping uh, it trill. And uh, it's on iTunes and Spotify. So uh, um, subscribe yeah. to us. Rate us that five star. You know what I'm saying? And uh, again, shout out to your followers, man. Jeans Bray. Again. Yeah, man. I y'all ruined this life. That's yeah, tight. And no, it's, it's cool. <laughs> I, I really fuck with y'all. Y'all ruined this life. Because a lot of times, you know, they'd be they're like, hey, bring them back. You know what I mean? It was uh-huh. just that specific episode. It was like, oh, it was a big no-no. But hey, man. That shit was hard, man. I think that was pretty cool. I kind of be rabbit. Kept it the real, man. It's good. I be rabbit myself, man. They, there's nobody's gonna have anything they don't already know about me. You know what I'm saying? That's so. time, man. Hey, shout outs to you guys for ruining his life. <laughs> I really do appreciate it. Uh, hilarious for me. Bad they thought they really thought they figured it out. They were like, they were like, oh my gosh, go to her page, see what she's happening right now. They're literally breaking up right now. Did we do this? Like it was like a whole thing. And I was like, nah, it was just the timing of it. We yeah, broke, we broke well, up. Well, you know, people, they're the, uh, and it's not even really like my hardcore fans either. Those yeah. are like the don't fuck with cats type of people. Mm. Uh, if you are a fan and you went as deep as to go that deep into somebody's random life, that's pretty crazy. You're a fucking psychopath. Yeah. And <laughs> yep, hope the same thing happens to you. <laughs> fuck you. But you guys were not the reason why they split. There was a lot of there's stories. It was, just, it, was, it was literally just the timing of when you posted it. Because we broke up like... Uh, 13 times before that. No. The, <laughs> <laughs> we broke up like a week before you posted it. But we mm-hmm. we recorded that episode like months before that. So yeah. it was just the, the timing of it. So it was just like... It was just, it was just, it was just perfect, actually. Yeah, you guys. Perfect timing. Yeah. Don't yeah. fuck with cats. All right, y'all, all you right. can catch the Genius Brain podcast on all audio platforms. If you want to ask questions about his personal life and see what <laughs> happened, you got to listen to the fucking Keeping It Trill podcast because yeah. that's where that info is. Oh, so, yeah. He's also on that episode, too. So check out that episode. You should listen to that podcast because that's where the dirty shit happens. Yeah. yeah that's where that where, <laughs> where the info is. So I'm not going to put it on here. It's yeah. on this podcast. Oh, check out yeah. the Keeping It Trill podcast, and we'll catch y'all next time. Peace. Peace. Cool.